not the evidence that was standing afar. And evidence that was what? Present. Do you understand me? So if you ask me for a voice clip, I look at you as a naive person who is just mental craving. You are just a craver. You are itching in your ears. You want to hear. I don't want you to hear. You are not a person to hear. Now, you wrote in your story that I should be dragged here to Plus FM to give evidence. Who are you? Who are you, Kwame Dazi? When did you come into this business? To ask me, Mr. Logic, to provide you with evidence because you want to, you want to, you want to inflate your column. Do you understand? So first of all, I took offense. Because I'm not the right person to speak with. You have to speak with Mercury. And Mercury's phone was off. Yes, you couldn't reach him. Now, the story you wrote, uh, automatically or basically, was to discredit and also insult me and Mercury. Mercury hasn't done anything wrong to me. Maybe the fact that he had meetings with my, with my colleagues. You understand? Which I was part of the meeting, but I decided not to be present. You understand? So, certain issues came up. Now, the whole uh, short, long and short of this issue is that I told him I don't want him to write about me. But I didn't say don't write your story. And he went on Facebook, wrote that. He wrote a story as if uh, Mr. Logic and Mercury, they are jokers, whatever. Then he went on to say that, look, Sammy, the message he said, I sent to him. Mm -hmm. This is where I, I, I begin to understand that. Some of these boys, they are kids. I always say that. This is, a, this is just curiosity. It's a mere curiosity. Mm -hmm. Now, your case is that I, oh, 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 sir, Mr. Logic has sent me a text. Oh, you want the whole world to know Logic has sent you a text insulting you? I don't give a heck. Because when I speak, I've told you when I speak, I don't take back. Now, when you push people to the wall, as to what they do to defend themselves, no one can hold them responsible. When the president was pushed so hard to the wall by his opponents, He's incompetent. He's inco Every day they are bashing him. Then he finally spoke. The same people who were pushing him, when they got reply, started saying that, oh, the man has, he has spoken carelessly. Is he not a human being? The president is a human being. He has feelings. So we're even saying, why should the president be using WhatsApp? I mean, look at this. Why should he use WhatsApp? Why should he even check his WhatsApp? <laughs> I mean, then you ask yourself, what kind of country are we living in? That presidents don't have right to check their WhatsApps. The same case you have a writer like Kwame Dazi. Okay. Your, so I mean, let, me, let me finish. No, no, end it. I, you have, you have someone yeah. like Kwame Dazi at your mm -hmm. outfit who will prefer Mr. Logic to be quiet and shut up like a dumb and do say that because Kwame Dazi. Does he know the people I deal with? Does he know the writers I've met in my life? So I mean, we don't sit down here and boast. We have proofs. He's a kid. He's a kid writer. That's why I asked you, where did you get this guy from? And I will also go a long way to say that Mr. Ricky, if he's listening to me, I respect him a lot. He has this guy on his TV. This is a guy who is on Facebook fighting unnecessary war, insulting people, and he's on KTV. Mr. Key, Mr. Ricky was here last time. He said something in his mind. I told you I respect him a lot. When I respect you, if I don't respect, I don't respect you. Me, that's how I am. I'm not partial. Mr. Ricky said that he judges people's mind and their reputation by what they post. On social media sometimes he monitors and this is a guy who's on social media bantering unnecessarily posting certain certain useless posts look at what happened to Nana, Nana, Nana ba, Anamua. Mm -hmm. she just did a photoshop she was at uh where uh what's the name of the stadium old trafford, old trafford. <laughs> <laughs> now this guy called dazi is all over facebook this is a social media freak who doesn't have nothing to do with his mind he want he, he's an attention seeker if Mr. Ricky should go on social media, should go on Kwame Dazi's Facebook page and see the kind of things he writes, the people he, he, he trade insults with, I'm sure Care TV should not have this guy on TV now. If Mr. Ricky <laughs> believes, I know he's a man of principle. The thing he said about social media and post, he should go and check Kwame Dazi. This is a guy with no moral, moral integrity. That's, that, that's the Let me end on this Mercury issue. Me, yeah? To say Mr. Logic beg him is a lie. I don't beg. I told him, don't write about me. Do your story, but don't write about me. What he wrote is what got me annoyed. So yesterday you said something here yourself in the mic. Mm -hmm. So I would like to repeat it. Mm -hmm. You said that you wouldn't have let this story go. Mm -hmm. But the fact that when the story came up, mm -hmm. Mercury refused to speak on this platform and went and spoke elsewhere. Mm -hmm. These are some of the things that 
has really pushed you also to allow the story to go because i said that no no, I mean, no 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 i never said that you said it in the mic yesterday no no i i didn't say i i i would let the story go because mercury refused to mm-hmm. speak, speak to me i only said i'm not interested in this story myself because mercury has refused to speak to me okay. now, as a matter of fact this is kwame Dazi's column yeah. what he decides to write about i don't control it 100 percent okay. as much as the the domain is in the industry and whatever he wrote about with this it was also in the industry a statement we-